Ugh. Happy New Year! What's good? It's your boy Al. It's 2016. Um, what time is it? Hold up. Okay. <laughs> it's 2:47. I'm up. Cause I had to make the video before tomorrow and put it on YouTube before January 2nd comes around. Cause it would just feel weird posting it after January 1st. You know. So everybody has New Year's resolutions. And I have some pretty good ones if I if I do say so myself. And I had a really good 2015. I learned a lot, and I learned that I love to learn. My first New Year's resolution is to read more, and not only to read, but to read more inform like informative books, more like books to learn. So I bought this book. I don't know if it's uh, Focus, but it's The Fortunes of Africa. 5,000 Year History of Wealth, Greed, and Endeavor by Martin Meredith. Well, I've always been interested in Africa and, and the culture. My second New Year's resolution is to eat right. So, as soon as I got home, I made a salad. <laughs> I mean, I like salads. Um, I've never ate them because My mom like made me grow up on vegetables and fruits and, and eating right. And then once I moved from North Carolina, it just all went downhill and I stopped eating healthy, which is bad. I think it's, you know, put my body through some stuff that it didn't really need to go through. Not anything serious, but like, you know, I'm, I'm less active. Um, nothing, nothing good comes from not eating vegetables. You can't be a carnivore. I mean, humans weren't even created to be omnivores, I don't think. We're supposed to be herbivores because our teeth don't, you know. Ask a vegan, I don't know. So the first one is to learn more. The second one is to eat right. The third one, oh, in, in, in eating right, I, I want to cut out red meats and pork. Just because. But I'm, I got to eat my chicken. You know I got to eat my chicken. The third one is to start exercising. Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to look good. And you know, of course I look good. Yes. But I want to look like good, like built. And that can't happen unless you work out and eat right. The number two and number three sort of go together just because without one, you can't have the other. So yeah. Um, oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I forgot what I said. First one, learn, learn more. Or read more, same thing. Second one, eat right. Third one, work out. I'm gonna try my best to do it. And another thing about New Year's resolutions, a lot of people get hung up on the fact that, like, if you don't do it, you break your resolution and all that stuff. And, like, they're sort of down on themselves or they just don't make resolutions because they don't wanna break them. I think it would be like the equivalent of shooting for a 4.0 in school. Say I go back to school and I say, okay, I want to shoot for a 4.0. I end up not getting the 4.0. I mean, as long as I did my best and I don't really get hung up on the fact that I didn't get a 4.0, I keep, you know, keep in mind that I, I tried and I did my best and it just happened to not happen this, you know, this semester. In the aspect of creating a New Year's resolution, don't get hung up on the fact that you might not get it the first time. Don't get hung up on the fact that you might not go through with it the first time because there's you know a bunch of years that you can do it or you can just start in the middle of the year you can start in any day just because it's January 1st doesn't mean you really have to do anything on January 1st you can do it February 24th if you want to you can do it December 31st as long as you start something positive in your life and you continue to do it it doesn't matter what time it is it doesn't have to be January 1st for you to you know start something new and start something fresh and healthy for your life because you're still living and January 1st doesn't dictate when, you're, when your life is new. You can start a new life at the very end of the year if you really wanted to, because it's your decision. It's your body and it's your life and it's, don't be dictated by the fear of failure, especially in a New Year's resolution, because you can always start that resolution. It doesn't have to be a New Year's resolution. You can just be, you just have a resolution. It's just a resolution. Don't get hung up on the fact that you might not succeed the first time. And don't get hung up on trying to be perfect because I surely will slip up. <laughs> because I love food, I hate working out, and 
quite frankly, I hate reading. All three things I'm trying to work, you know, do better at and work on in this new year. And of course, I'm gonna slip up. Of course, some nights I'm not gonna read. Some days I'm not gonna want to read. Sometimes I'm not gonna want to eat a salad. Sometimes I'm not gonna want to go to the gym. And I might not go to the gym that day. Might not read that day. Might not eat right that day. But there's always a new day. And I think that's what's gonna keep me going through my New Year's resolution. But anyway, back to normal conversation because I don't like getting serious. <laughs> Jesus. Just wanted to bring the New Year's in with you guys. Thank you for my, I just hit my 10th subscriber. I think I have 13 now, so thank you everybody who subscribed. If you're new to the channel, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, I'm trying to get to 100 views on every single one of my videos. And so far I've done that. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for being so loyal to my channel. Um, tell your friends about it, tell your family, and make sure you're not too hung up on your New Year's resolution. And if you want to, you can comment down below what your New Year's resolution is and how you're gonna, you know, go through with it. If you don't have a New Year's resolution, just shoot to be a better person overall. I think that'll make everything better in this world, at least a little bit. There you go, that's my video for this new year. I'm excited to bring it in with you guys and I'm excited for the new videos to come around. I have a lot of ideas for the new year. I'm gonna have a lot of collaborations. Thanks for tuning in uh, and I'll see you guys next week.